Yes, Tango 21 receiving. Roger, got you. So we've got the Thunderbolt T800, Mr. Chip is six miles away and the wrong side of the hill as usual and he'll be coming back towards us. And he's changed the air on his vehicle. Got you at the level crossing at raw speed and you're now on the centre loaded um, modulator. Excellent. Now, Mr. Um, ZX2, can you receive me over? Yes, I'm just on the other side of the uh, Northwest Crossing. I can receive you. I'm a little bit scratchy, but I can hear you. Right, that's excellent. Yeah, Roger, got you at the turning for Grayleys. So we've got two test vehicles out there this time. Unfortunately, I won't be going very far for the moment because the uh, crossing gates have come down. Oh wow, well, isn't that just wonderful? Well, that's the time. We should have rung British Rail and told them we're doing an important CB radio test. Got you at the Kelby turning. I bet your car looks like a Dodgem car with that centre loaded aerial. Yeah, I've had a few stairs. So we've got Mr. Chippy and this one with. Well, the point is, it's, it is working okay. I know we, we, we don't have to damage any radios and all that. But at least I've been able to receive you, and it's fine. Yeah, roger that. Right, I'm just passing uh, Wilson level crossing. Excellent, loud and clear. So he's in the Nissan with the uh, Midland 78 plus multi. And when Mark gets clear of the, rev the first level crossing, then he'll be in the high and die with the Intec 760. Mark's car's got a height advantage of about 9 inches. ZX2 from Tango 21, how are you doing? Roger Dodger on that. Excellent. Well, of course, the S meter is uh, dropping in and out, but I'm receiving you loud and clear. Was that better than on the way in, or the same, or worse? It is better, and this set's slightly more sensitive than the more expensive model we were trying. Uh, furthermore, you've got a an error error with a higher angle of radiation. Oh, well done, Mr. ZX2. Right. <laughs> Roger, got you uh, loud and clear. You're lighting all the fairy lights up, giving me plus 30. Roger, ZX2 mobile. Just, uh, just about to come through uh, Grey Yes, and he was right at the wrong side of the hill, wasn't he? That was um, 
Exactly, he's right at the bottom of the hill, uh, just um, at Ancaster. So you've got the hill right in between you, uh, whereas I've got a one and a half mile advantage, so slightly going over it. Roger, got you there. Feel the temperature of this one. Well, that runs cooler than the other. Yes, he's having a Sunday afternoon drive. We couldn't have timed this worse for the uh, train coming. Presumably Mr Chippy's about at Tango Towers. Yeah, I'm just turned up to the lake now, that's me out. Roger Dodger, see you back here. Yes, well, it's this old mobile to mobile thing. I mean, he's uh, he was a good five miles apart from you and the wrong side of a hill. Yeah, ZX2, um, you're quite a noise to me also, about the same, I would say, so that looks like it's about right. There, there we go. Yes, and uh, Mark doubled with you. ZX2, what's your current position, please? I'm just, um, eventually in about 20 seconds, just coming down to uh, the bottom of the village over. Roger, got you there. Got you at the bottom of the village, that's fine. Tango 21 ZX2, are you at the top of the hill yet? Yes, I'm at the top of the hill. I've just said, uh, yes, and what radio on are you on currently then? So I'm now on the Thunderbolt T800, which has got exceptionally good receive sensitivity. Okay, you're now giving me the 30 plus fairy light. Well, it's not that too far away, is it, really? So, obviously, just uh, dropping down to you, and eventually, uh, in about four seconds, come to the uh, crossroads over. Roger, Dodger on that. Yes, he's about two miles away now. You've had everything they can throw at you. You've had thrown at you this afternoon. No, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, when I get back as well, I'm going to have a look and see what's uh, gone off with my aerial and see what's gone faulty with that one. Um, to do with an SWR meter then and uh, um, patch leads if there's one handy. There certainly is. It's right by the front door. I'll pass at you. Yep, Roger on that. Well, I don't know whether you were receiving me, uh, but we weren't receiving you, as you know. So, uh, we'll see. Anyway, Mr. C's just come in the door. Yes, anyway, so yeah, I'll have a look at my car when I get back anyway. Uh, right, just come through the uh, traffic lights. Uh, another four seconds, we uh, just going past the uh, petrol station. Just watching me speed along here as well, in case there's any um, smokies about over. 
Yes. Well, I don't want you to get that. Roger, got you at the petrol station. So the T800 here, pretty basic. The RF gain only works when it's on AM mode. AM isn't available on, on the UK set of channels. So it would have to be programmed to be on the... No, Mr. Chippy does the same when he jumps in that car as well. Yeah, right, turn right onto the lane, so not too far from QTH. Roger on that, thank you. Turn around, uh, park this vehicle in the drive, so uh, just coming around the bend, so two, three seconds, I'll be there. Yep. Should I say Roger Diddly Dodger? Okay, Tango 21 now, thanks for that. So, back to what I was trying to tell you. So we'd have to reprogram it to be in the EU mode for it to be able to do AM, and then the RF game becomes operable. So you might think, oh, I'm buying a set with RF game. Not so, only when on EU and in AM mode. And in calibration, we couldn't find how to calibrate the uh, transmit meter, and it always, depending, we had it on 100 milliwatts, and it lit up with all four, and we had it on 5 watts and it lit up all 4 and we couldn't see any adjustment and I make, without seeing the circuit diagram I got a sneaking suspicion it's a glorified TX light and when you press transmit they all light up together so there you have it very sensitive receiver works very well Thunderbolt T800 thanks for watching